There's a new trailer out there showing that New Mutants will come to Disney Plus on September 4th. Except some people are saying it's fake, some people are saying it's for sure real. Let's break this down. This is a crazy one. What's up everybody, it's Josh. Welcome back to the channel. Smash that like button and let's get into this news. I saw this pop up from Jeremy Conrad over at MCU Cosmic. I'm going to read right from his article here a little bit. It'll sort of explain the context and then we're going to talk about the absolute craziness that took place on Twitter with different people debunking this and giving their take on it. Okay, it says here, following the indefinite delay of Tenet yesterday, people are wondering what's going to happen with New Mutants and Mulan. Well, now it looks like New Mutants may head to Disney Plus and it means the movie has another release date. A user on Reddit captured a trailer for New Mutants on Disney Plus claiming that the movie will be streaming on September 4th. The trailer could possibly be fake, so we'll have to wait and see. But if it is a fake, it's done very well. It looks like the Disney Plus promos and it makes sense for them to finally release New Mutants if theaters are going to remain closed for a long time. The trailer is similar to this TV spot. However, it's edited differently and includes some shots that weren't in other trailers, including a new angle of the infrared image of Danielle Moonstar on a monitor. A version of that shot was in a previous trailer, but this one is at a different angle. The trailer appears to be from Australia, and it's not uncommon for things like this to leak internationally. Okay, the next crazy thing that happened here was Skylar Schuler, who is an insider. He's the editor-in-chief of the Diz Insider. And, and just in general, Skylar seems to really be in the know, especially when it comes to Disney stuff, okay? After this leak started making the rounds out there, Skylar did tweet out and say, okay, Disney should be announcing the new mutants on Disney Plus very soon. Now, the weird part is apparently Daniel Richtman, who is an insider, got word from a Disney rep saying that that trailer is fake. But what's weird about that is even Casey Walsh, who is a scooper out there, said, I got the same message, but Disney International has made these mistakes before and Disney denied even though they turned out to be real. This is taken from Australian TV and contains new footage and dialogue. Also, Disney was supposed to make a big announcement this week. Now, what's really crazy is Grace Randolph chimed in on this as well. She said she believes this is fake. She is checking, though, but the giveaway that she thinks is that the announcer does not say streaming. It's only written on the trailer, so that would maybe suggest that it is fake. However, she goes on to say that she did say that this would be coming to streaming. New Mutants will be coming to streaming, and she also said that it will be announced on Thursday's conference. Comic-Con at home panel. And apparently she says that she was the first person to tell people this. So a pretty weird situation. If this is a fake trailer, it's incredibly well done. Who would go to this length to fake a freaking New Mutants trailer at this point? I, I don't see what the motivation is for that. Almost nobody cares about the New Mutants, whether it comes out on freaking Quibi or Disney Plus or VOD or in theaters. I don't think it was going to matter. Nobody really cares about this thing. Although I will say if it comes out on Disney Plus, I'll definitely check it out. I will check this movie out on Disney Plus if it comes out on Disney Plus. I also find it refreshing that Casey Walsh admits that Disney has done this before. They've actually lied, literally lied to you guys about this before. They've lied to the, to the reporters. They've lied about this. When things internationally leak, they've had this happen before where it comes out and they're like, oh no, that's not real, even though it was real. So it just kind of shows you a little bit about the behind the scenes of what goes on in Hollywood. But here's, I think, where the big story is. It does appear that due to the weird state of the world and the fact that the theaters are not going to be open or anywhere near full capacity for a long, long time, particularly in America, possibly in China as well, that there's no reason for Disney to wait to put this into theaters. This is not going to get an August theatrical date. It probably will come out on Disney Plus, maybe in that September 4th date that was teased in this trailer and leaked, and that'll get announced on Thursday at Comic-Con. Totally possible that that could happen. Grace and some other people were indicating it could come out even before then. And so I ask you, viewer, what do you make of this? Is Disney screwing up? Are, are, are wires getting crossed? Are they lying about this being fake? And finally, do you think that the New Mutants will be coming out on streaming? And will you check it out if it does drop on Disney Plus? And now let's shout out Sooner Thrawn. Yes, indeed. Paul Bettany played Dryden Voss in Solo, a Star Wars story. Story. And now let's ask another nerd card question before we get out of here. I want to know what was the very first 
date that the New Mutants was supposed to release in theaters? The very first one, way back in the day. What was that date? Answer that question in the comments section below. A reminder to all of you nerd vendors that tomorrow night at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time over on our live streaming channel, another episode of the Nerd Card Showdown will air. It's going to be an absolutely epic bout. You better be there. As I always say, I hope you're having an awesome and a nerdy day, and I'll see you in the next video.